Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a quick video on Crease Talk with Joey B, which is going to be a video on all things goaltenders. And this one is going to be on some of the teams that had some of the better tandems in the league this year, which one of them was, of course, our own Philadelphia Flyers. Even though Brian Elliott did not have the prettiest stats numbers-wise. He still stepped up huge, made clutch saves for us on the road. It fit in so perfectly and sequentially. That's right for the Flyers' nitty-gritty. I wrote that they made up and formed a magnificent duo. It wasn't because Elliott's numbers were pretty and and immaculate in all senses. It was because in the biggest moments he stepped up on the road, we played great in front of him. He really was a great leader, a great mentor to heart. All of those things worked out well. So obviously we are one of them. And to close the video, I'll get into more why we're also one of the tandem. But another one is, of course, Tuka Rask, who's up for the Vezina. And Yari Halak, who of course struggled against our team. But other than against us, had a magnificent season for the Bees. He was... In twenty or in in excuse me, twenty nine games started, thirty one games played, eighteen and six with a nine nineteen and a two three nine save percentage, and then of course Tuka Rask, Tuka Rask was ridiculous. He had a nine twenty nine save percentage, a two twelve and forty one games played, all started. He won twenty six of his games and only lost eight, and then had six OT losses. So. Took was a beast, probably the favorite in most accounts due to all those inner stats, especially as well, to win the Vezina. But another guy, of course, would be Connor Hellbuck. Now, of course, Connor Hellbuck does not have the team, excuse me, that is equivalent for his goaltending when it comes to who's behind him. He, of course... Only has Laurent Brousseau behind him, who struggles big time, had a three-something goals against and a very low save percentage. So Connor Hellbuck was the carrying weight of that team, so that is not a goalie tandem team. But Hellbuck, for terms of the Vezina, of course, would be a goaltender that could get it and would very rightfully deserve it. I think it's between those two as the top two, and that's really all it's between. Not that other goalies haven't done great this year, it's just they separated themselves. And we look at Edmonton. Edmonton might not have one of the best goalie tandems, obviously, because they have Mike Smith at the twilight of his career, and they have Miko Koskinen, who's just a solid netminder that works in Dave Tibbetts' system. He had good stats. His stats actually play very even to Corey Crawford, who he plays in the first round. But he played fantastic at times this year and then solid at other times for a 2.75 goals, goals again and a 9.17. So he had to be, you don't get a 9.17 save percentage not being solid. Of course, they brought Skinner with them. They're not going to play any other youngsters that have a chance. Smith had a down save percentage, but did step up big for them in moments. He only had a 902 and a 295. But in those 39 games, those are a little deceiving because in big moments, he did really step up for the Oilers and play, especially when Koskinen was struggling at some of those times this year. So sometimes numbers can be a little deceiving, and he would be someone that falls in that category. So they have to be mentioned. They are a tandem that worked. They're not a tandem that you go, oh my God, on paper. They just have to be mentioned in a goalie tandem video because they work. I don't think Elliott coming into the season for most other than Flyers fans was a oh my god on paper tandem type guy and then it worked out perfectly and sequentially with Carter Hart because Carter Hart obviously came on to the scene did amazing and then he obviously just got better and better as time went on and had a great season that compared to Marty Bredor this year and his only struggle bugaboo was on the road and Elliot helped him with that so that worked out absolutely perfectly 
We, of course, have Vegas, who traded for Leonard, only played three games, but played amazing in those three games. So now you have Marc-Andre Fleury. He struggled this year and had over a three goals against himself. But he's Marc-Andre Fleury. He's uh, one of the best playoff goalies of our generation. He's been there, done that. He's, of course, won the Cup multiple times. And he's a goaltender that still had 27 wins this year. So if your down year is a 9.05 with 27 wins, I'll take that as a down year, especially when you picked up Robin Leonard, who went on a tear for the three games he was down there with you and had a 9.20 save percentage this whole season with a 19-10 and 10 record. And that was in Chicago, who has a depleting defense that's aging out and just only solid average defenders besides them around their goaltending. So that's very damn impressive. That's why they are definitely mentioned in a tandem video. And then I'm going to make a video later, too, on more tandems that I would mention. The other one I'm going to bring up for now, because he really stepped up when Riddick struggled, was Cam Talbot, a former flyer, was able to step up for the Flames, which is why I thought of writing that article for Flyers Nitty Gritty that I got a little bit of flack for, but I don't mind it. I like Banner at times, and I love writing the articles, but um, he has a 919 this year. You don't get that by by just being decent he played great this year at times cam talbot and he stepped up for them big time and then riddich obviously he's a goalie that i think you can win with in the right system he's a goalie that he's never going to be one of the best goalies in the league but he has the talent to be one of those good middle ground goaltenders in the league he just has to kind of put it all together he obviously came onto the scene looked really good as a net minder when he came in while well, played his most games last year, and then the year prior, he looked solid. So last year is really when he came onto the scene and went off in 45 games. Uh, he had 27 and nine record. So he's that's another tandem I look at. But as I said, I'll wrap up with talking about the Flyers again for 30 seconds. Hart and Elliott formed a ridiculous tandem he he's a great mentor for Carter Hart as well he knows exactly how the kid ticks he knows exactly what to say to him what not to say to him how to interact with him all that good stuff and that's likely what has helped to make all these other tandems work so well. Cam Talbot's a veteran. Even though he's not one of the best things since sliced bread, he's been good for the Oilers in his career. He's been good, obviously, now for the Flames in his career and other teams in his career as well, New York. So he's been a guy that stepped up at time. So he's a guy that also probably has that similar culture. Obviously, I don't know that. For, for the Flames, but probably has that similar aspect. So this has been a quick video on... Crease Talk with Joey B on all things goalies. Have a great day, everybody. Peace out.